it washed out, cleaned up best we can. Looks like it, uh, I mean, it's a 6BT Cummins. It ought to crank right up, start right up. I know the thumbnail shows different, but this is, uh, they come out here and pressure wash this since we got it out. They've come and they took the air filter out. And after looking at this air filter and the, and the heaviness of it, I don't doubt uh, the man. He told me he had it switched off when he went under. But it just seems like it either soaked up a lot of water or it sucked it in when he went over. I'm not sure. We got the oil. We're going to drop the oil and everything in it. Uh, and just do whatever we need to do. Clean out the airways where mud might have got in to it that we haven't seen. And uh, that's what I'm looking for. The pan's got to come off of there, off the bottom of it. Uh, so I guess we'll just start, start there. And work our way back. Jacob hasn't seen our new pool handle yet that I bought. And, uh, Something else. Oh, yeah. Stenching. Let's go see what... I bet you that uh, Cummins engine pan is metric. And that should... That should drain the oil. We're probably going to get water first. That's been your first love. <laughs> all I do is I spend all mine. You find mine up at Walmart. Uh-oh. You know, we used to have plenty of five-gallon buckets back in the day, but now you look at there. what you get ain't much good. Look at here. That look familiar, Jacob? <laughs> Remember that case dozer? So, yeah, uh-oh. You know... I mean, I, uh, there's a good running escalator in the trading. Oh, yeah. Or whatever. Not, I'm saying I'd like to have an escalator or a dozer from the track. Yeah. Uh, you actually need one. I need one. You need the biggest mini they make with a blade. I do. Especially because. If I take one of them for my boat, I'd be glad for that. <laughs> whatever you find out you can do, I'd be glad for that. I, I wish I could you find them. I wish I could find a mini that cheap. So how much is a mini? They have to. Lord, yeah. Paid a hundred for this time. Cause, every, Cause everybody wants one yeah. with some equipment. And money. To do well if they got the equipment, that's the money. They can do your Yeah, you know, I kept thinking that I'd be able to settle with my brothers, you know. They offered us one point six. I I don't want to keep myself. One point six ain't nothing. What I'm saying is I really do it. That might be I'm gonna just <laughs> I don't know who did that, do you? I know it's my son-in-law. He's got another bucket. Hold this. Hold this. My word. Uh, well... Well, we're just going to have to plug it, Jacob, uh, when it gets that one full. I'm not sure I've ever seen this much water in one. It was heading up over in that dam, over in that dam. I, mean, you know, I don't know. you got to move that bucket. Well, I'm, it's, just plug it up, and then we can get it out without... Thank God it didn't freeze. Shit. It's going to come down your arm. There you go. You know what? That's what I told Jimmy. I said, uh, a friend of mine told me, you better get that water out. If it freezes, it'll bust a block. And I said, you know what? I never even thought about that. Oh, yeah. I had to, my dad's tractor back there. I, I got it. Here I rebuilt go. it for him seven years before he passed. If you want to turn it off, I'll hand this to you. I'm sorry I got it for 947. I'm sorry I got it for 947. It was all down here. Mostly. Maybe 50-50. You can hammer that oil and we'll put oil in it. 
We'll, we'll fill it up with oil. We'll cha I'll change the filter. We'll fill it up with oil. That way we can spin it because he knows he's going to have to redo this process again. Um, to make sure he gets all of the contamination out of it best he can. And once we get it running and look at the oil, he can tell. <laughs> you, you seen what come out of it. All right. And we've got a filter wrench. Thanks for picking up. Let's see. I don't know if y'all seen that. That thing was really loose. I don't know if they took that off or not and put it back on. It don't have any oil in it, Jacob, but you can throw it, set it straight up down there somewhere where it don't tilt. We'll put this ball one on there. Again, we got this at our, from Covering Heavy Duty Andalusia. Shout out to them. Looks like they would come help put it on. Kind of seal the rubber together, but hopefully it'll seal. We're gonna change it again anyway, but don't. All right, that's plenty tight. Oh, that's the oil cap was there, and I dropped it. It's in there somewhere. Uh, gonna have to get it out eventually. Well, they decided to go with this Rotella. That's probably what he runs in his trucks. And that's what he's happy with. Just That's about as fast as you can go right there. All right, we put five gallons in it. We're gonna check it and see. Can you, you see the full mark on it anywhere? Right, right here. All right, well, we got, we'll put another gallon in it. gonna take the metal lines off first because I, I don't want to bend them up they are so hard to get back on once you do that and I think I can well hopefully I can get them out without taking that exhaust manifold off I may not can I don't want to tear up anything but we'll we'll see how it goes as I dig into it Here's these lines are 19.
these was a, a 17, 19 and 17. All right, I was able, boy, that's a lot of, somebody's been in here, huh? This one right here was kind of loose. I didn't have to get down and get my socket set, but probably I'm on the next one. Who knows? Yeah, look at the, look at the spacers. Let's see. I learned a lot when um, Hank and I did the injector pump on the low that he bought because we did uh bend those injector lines and that's a that's absolutely a terrible thing to have to try to get back like it's supposed to be and uh, it just i'm just gonna say it's just gonna be easy to take them off and then set them back on there I'm just out here by myself again. I'm out here by myself. I don't, there's just some things that you don't need any help on. It's really a one man job, but I guess Jacob could have been learning a little, little something. How about that? I put it. I put it right. I put it right back on there. How about that? Uh, let's see about this coming out of here. All right. Well, I got the wrong socket. It was a 13, so I just made me something to save me another trip back down the excavator. I'm not saying I'm lazy. I'm just saying I didn't want to go back down if I didn't have to. I'll get that washer off when we... All right, let me get these lines broke loose. I think I can get to it, uh, this return line when all this is off right here. I think it'll let me get my wrench on there. up here so we can have some wiggle room see if we can work this one out. Yeah. Yeah, we did. All right. I may can get to that return line now. Oh, yeah. That's a lot, lot better. That's where you got to do it. Now I know. And this one. I'm not sure I can. Yeah. the whole way 
I know you can't see, but I'm using both middle fingers right now. All right, got one of them. Boy. All right. Got it. Oh boy. There is the return line off. Well, Hey, well, I sure hope the rest of them comes like that. That's what my buddy told me. He said, don't spin it in there because it fits in a groove and that'll cut it. And by golly, that's what he was talking about. Are y'all, y'all feel lucky today? Did a fire... Have I shot five times or six times? Oh, look at there. Two. Well, we got two out of the six out with no problem. I don't know how much. Uh-oh. Not so easy. My metal line back on top right here and put my crow foot right there and see if I could bump it up. I screwed this cap back down. I left that up and I'm gonna see if I can just get right up under this. Come on. Okay, I've uh, got makeshift, I hope, connection to the starter. Sorry about breathing so hard there. I was bent over and my breath was leaving me. Uh, so I'm going to try to spin it over and see what comes out from top of those pistons. Let's see if I can get contact. Woo! It looked like this side might have been safer. Let's see. See if it'll spin over and blow some more gunk out of it. I don't know. Let's see. Boy, that was a pile. I am getting soaked with oil. We, I got a mess, buddy. I'm telling you, jeez.
And I'm just... Guys, that blew oil everywhere. You can see I'm covered. Machine's covered. They was, I, I don't know what else she's supposed to do but move out of the way. Honestly. They was just, all that was on top of the pistons, but it's freed up now. I laid that box over it to keep it from blowing everywhere, but I'm going to show y'all real quick bet she's free and then we're going to figure out how we're going to clean this mess up to still got some gunk in it I'm going to do this right here spin it over I hope I didn't ruin my camera. Fell yesterday. This thing's heavier this morning. That one right there was by far the hardest one. Got the injector lines back down, bolted down. Got them tightened up. I'm sure we're gonna have to loosen them, bleed there once we start winding on it. Uh, I've had some setbacks doing this. Uh, like I said, I, I didn't check for the little O-rings on the end of the uh, injectors for the shim part. Next time I do it, I'll know to watch for that. And on the return line, I lost the clip that holds the two washers so you don't have to fight like I did on that last one. But I think we got everything back like it was. The engine's free. I think all we got to do now is wind on it and hopefully this thing will bust off. That's five gallons in there. Your six one's still right there if you wanted to put it in there. I didn't know. That looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Still looks good on it. yeah. I, it's not going to hurt to crank it that, that low for sure, but 
the six gallons there. So I guess it's a six gallon. I mean, that's, it's in the. Yeah, I mean, we can pour it in there. It's up to you, but anyway, it's. It's in the. It's in the. Okay, okay. zone. Yeah. Turned over a few more times for you, buddy. Just well, dude, yeah, just, just make sure it's going to feel it out. Move these out. And we can break those injector lines loose. I just want to spin it a couple times. Yeah. That ain't going to need no ether. It's blowing white smoke now. <laughs> and it's blowing it's returning line through there yeah. all right it's this thing's gonna crank right. with that yeah all right. i wonder uh they was firing yesterday over you want to hit it with some out i tried yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Turn yeah. Over. yeah. Look at that. Look at Turn line, I dropped a boat. Yeah. Wine fuel's not but five dollars a gallon, then why would you want to fix this? <laughs> Stop it smells so good when you go down the road. No, it's not, I don't see it leaking anywhere. It probably when it went over, it just probably leaked out that cow about all. Absolutely amazing.
put hot wire to a green. Strong enough to lift itself. You want me to pull up, see if it'll turn? All right, ho, ho, let's get that chain out. All right. Oh, 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 okay. He's going to do it the way he wants to do it. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of it out here. Trying to get around there without getting soaked. But we're cleaning out the place, or he's cleaning out the place to get the, put the idler in. We're about to try to put this track on, walk it on the low boy and get it back to his shop. What it looks like in there. Woo, this thing's bad on rollers are shot. That's all right. But anyway, that's that's what's going that we're gonna put the idler back in. Well I do get to play a little bit. Thank you. 
That fast. And that's heavy. That's why I asked him about chaining it up. That way you could swing it and Well, it don't matter. Once he pushes it, it'll... That's why yeah, I had to have a chain. You wait out there. Man, let's get a chain. It'd be so much easier with a chain. Do I need to lift up on it now, Taylor? Yeah. <laughs> I need to...
My God, he's close, ain't he? running this mini trying to help the other camera died but we almost got it he bought the big boy out this time I believe it's moving now, Taylor. It is, but it's a giant picked up off the ground. Yeah. Not of ink, not of fat. Well, here we go. It's come a long way since.
grunt more. There she comes. wind is really blowing. Would you ever thought it? That this thing would be sitting on a low boy under its own power. Thank y'all for watching, and remember, don't be wild.